Alright everyone, today we're going over the eggplant emoji. Oh, you didn't know? We're a food channel now. Just kidding. But Food Network, if you're watching, I'd love a cooking channel. Anyway, on to the human eggplant, aka the penis. It's diagram time. Alright, let's start with what the penis is made out of, which is soft, spongy tissue. And when that spongy tissue fills with blood when someone's sexually aroused, we call that an erection. You probably thought I was going to say boner, which is a totally fine way to refer to it if you're not trying to be professional or anything. FYI, there's no bone in the penis. But it feels like a bone. Yeah, that's probably why they call it a boner. But again, no bone. Good news is, since there's no bone in there, you can't break your penis. Bad news is, you can still fracture it. Now that we know what the penis is made out of, let's go over its parts by following the journey of the sperm. Let's start right here at what you might call the balls, but medical term is testicles. Testicles is where the sperm is produced. Unlike people with eggs, people with testicles do not produce sperm right when they're born. They're produced during, you guessed it, puberty, everyone's favorite time. But just because they're produced doesn't mean they're ready to leave the body yet. Okay? They need to mature first, like most millennials. In order to mature, they're going to hop on over to this organ that sits right on top of the testicle called the epididymis. This is where they mature and get their tail. Then they're going to start traveling through this tube called the vas deferens, and they can wait here until they're ready to exit the body during ejaculation. Before exiting the body, the sperm need to make two pit stops. So first, they're going to stop over here at the seminal vesicle, and they're going to pick up seminal vesicle fluid. Second stop is going to be at the prostate gland, and they're going to pick up prostate gland fluid. These two fluids give the sperm enough energy to travel to its destination wherever it may be, on top of helping them swim faster. These two fluids plus sperm is what we call semen. So sperm is just sperm by itself, but semen is sperm with a plus two on their invite. Once sperm has told its friends, Get in, loser, we're going ejaculating. It takes a swift turn from the vas deferens and starts traveling through the urethra. Yes, both people with penises and vaginas have urethras in their body. This urethra just happens to be a lot longer though. Alrighty, so ejaculation comes out through here, but ejaculation isn't the only thing that comes out of this urethra. Pre-ejaculation and pee come out of that same tube. And no, they do not happen at the same time. Now that we know what's going on inside of the body, let's take a look at what's going on outside of the body. So right here we have the scrotum, which is a sack of flesh that holds the testicles. And right over here we have what you might call the head, but it's actually called the glans penis. And around the glans penis is a piece of flesh that wraps around it called the foreskin. We interrupt this brief program to talk about circumcision. Some parents choose to circumcise their child for personal, religious, or cultural reasons. Some parents choose not to circumcise, and that's fine too, as there is no medical necessity for circumcision. So for your million dollar question, which one is better, here's your million dollar answer. Neither. Alright, well that about sums up Penis and Company. Now if you'd be so kind as to do all the things that people with YouTube channels would appreciate you doing, like rating, commenting, subscribing, telling your friends, whatever, no pressure. We'd really appreciate it. Class is dismissed. <whistles> Bye. But it feels like a bone.